What's up guys, my name is Chaz and recently I got a 3D printer. Now originally I wanted to get it to start probably making a 3D printing business but also to make some cosplay items for my own costumes for comic cons. So recently I've started printing out some swords and I want to show them to you guys right now. So the first sword I printed is this katana right here. Obviously not in this color, I have painted it since I printed it. I made it kind of Joker style colors because I'm going to do a Deathstroke Joker combination amalgam costume thing. Uh, so let me set this down so I can show you guys. Alright, so the katana is printed with a full sheath. Got a hilt and the full blade, which I painted fully silver to give it this metallic shine that a real sword should have. Each part is printed... it was printed in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces, this sword, and they're all held together by a wooden dowel rod that is cut into pieces that runs through each section of the pieces. Similarly, this sheath scabbard is cut up into four different pieces. There aren't any dowel rods inside of this one, but some Gorilla Glue keeps it sturdy and assembled here. One problem I did have is I did not sand down this little piece right here enough, so when I painted it, it became a lot thicker, so it doesn't go into the scabbard fully, but on the prop that I'm going to be selling, I will make sure to rectify this problem. Secondly, I wanted to print a long sword. And this is how that one turned out. This one was also cut up into multiple different sections for the blade, except instead of using a dowel rod that runs through it, the files have little notches that each of the blade that are on the end of each of the blade pieces so they interlock with each other and then just using some gorilla glue helps it all stay together this one has the the handguard is a little bit blocky i printed it with a uh, 0.2 mill millimeter uh, layer height so it's a little bit rough on the tops and bottoms and I actually had to print two hilt sections just because it's a long sword I wanted a longer hilt, longer handle to be able to move it around. Initially the pommel looked a little large but now once it's assembled with the entire sword it works much better. The third thing I was going to print is another long sword. Um, but unfortunately my printer had a clog in it, so I wasn't able to finish the blade pieces that I will finish the, that eventually. But this is the hilt so far. It is a very simple cylinder hilt with a relatively fancy cross guard here. And lastly, the latest thing I printed is the ooh, is Witcher steel sword. This is from the Netflix Witcher, so this would be Henry Cavill's sword. So this file, it is pretty intricate. It has these different rings around the pommel here. It has um, a lot of texturing to the hilt right here. And the cross guard has lots of different engravings on it as well as on the blade. Here. And I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, although um, this one doesn't use any dial rods to support the inside. Instead, it printed, it has separate pins you can print that go inside the blade, but the way 3D printing works, it layers on top of each other. So going vertically, it wasn't that strong and it broke. So I had to use a lot more glue and some sturdier pins to go inside to make it a lot stronger. Uh, as well as with the um, cross guard here. These two pieces that go on the sides here, they're supposed to squeeze together to make the cross guard, 
did not print the greatest, so there's a little bit of gapping there. Um, but with the copies I'm going to make, will be much better. But I'm very overall happy with how this thing turned out. So hopefully this will be the beginning of weekly vlogs or multiple times a week vlogs. I'm going to show you guys of the things I'm 3D printing, things I'm working on, and also the products I'm going to make for that are going to be sold on our Etsy shop. So look in the link down below and you'll be able to find a link to our store with all the things we're going to be printed for you guys.